Get your cheap and safe coins within 10 minutes from the cheapest place on the market. Follow the link in the description and use Crossy for a huge discount. And if you wanna buy cheap game codes and prepaid Xbox and PlayStation cards, G2A is also down below. How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome to another FIFA 18 tutorial. Today boys, I'm gonna start a new mini-series on the channel. I'm gonna review the best and the most effective formations in FIFA 18 ultimate team. We're gonna talk about the best instructions, the best tactics, what players to use, how to attack, how to defend and so on. The first formation we're gonna talk about is the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow used by a lot of pro players in foot champions and ultimate team. But before we get into more details, make sure to leave a like if you enjoy my new mini series on the channel and if you wanna see the next episode coming up on the channel over the weekend. So guys, we're gonna kick things off with the best instructions. Go and apply step back while attacking to your left and right fullbacks plus your CDM. After the latest patch of EA, defending in FIFA 18 is much easier, so you don't need to apply step back while attacking to your left and right CMs. Next, apply aggressive interceptions to all of your midfielders to increase their efficiency of taking the ball while defending. Last but not least, we're gonna apply a very important attacking instruction, getting behind to both of your strikers. This option guys will get them to make a lot of runs towards the opposing goal and thus you're gonna create a lot of scoring chances. With that being said, let's move on to the custom tactics. 90 at speed for fast build-up play, 60 at passing because you're gonna use both long and short passes in the build-up play, positioning organized because you don't want your teammates to swap their positions on the field, chance creation, passing, we're gonna use 80 guys, your players will perform a lot more runs through the middle of the field and you will get a lot more opportunities to place your players in shooting positions, crossing 50 guys, because the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation is a middle play formation guys, you don't need crossing to be more than 50, you are not gonna count on crosses, so it's pointless to increase the value. Shooting, here I advise you to use around 80, it will increase the amount of players outside the penalty box, so you can take long shots. Positioning in free form, your players will swap their positions in the final third of the pitch and break down the defense of your opponents. Pressure, I advise you to use around 45 because as I said guys, after the latest patch of EA, defending is much easier in FIFA 18. Aggression, use around 80, it will help you win the one-on-one -on -one battles with opposing players in your own field. Team width, leave it at 50 and defend the line put it at cover. Now let's talk a bit about what players to use at each position on the field. We are not gonna talk about goalkeepers and defenders guys because it all depends on your budget. On the screen now you can see one of the best possible defenses in FIFA 18 so if you've got enough coins I strongly advise you to build my defender line. So regarding your CDM guys, make sure to use a big and strong player with great physical stats. This guy will function as a destroyer of counter attacks. A great example is Bakayoko from Chelsea, he's got the speed, he's got the strength. Regarding your left and right midfielders, you need to use players who are not weak guys, because while defending is gonna be a problem if you've got weak players. Great examples are Emre Can and Dele Alli. Both are big and strong, able to create attacks and also they're gonna be extremely useful while defending. Of course, if you've got more coins, you can go with Dembele left CM and Pogba right CM. It all depends on your budget, as I said. Regarding your central attacking mid, one of the best possible examples is Ericsson, guys. You need a player with great ball control, great passing skills and last but not least, you want him to have great long shots because in FIFA 18, long shots are very very OP and it's a great way for you to score easy goals. Regarding your strikers, I advise you to go with one big and strong player who is able to protect the ball and keep possession and one agile player with great ball control and dribbling who is able to dribble past defenders. A great example is Musa plus Antonio guys, it's a very cheap couple and one of the best possible examples is Lukaku plus Aguero, so 
it all depends on your budget. Now let's talk a bit about the way of defending while using the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. First of all guys, don't use your defenders to defend. Make sure to select your CDM and drag him back in front of your defender line. You need to do your best to take the ball using your CDM or CMs. This is the key to success guys, yes. This is the key to success when using the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. You need to stop the opposing attacks using either your CDM or your left and right midfielders depending on the certain situation. When it comes to the attacking side of the game, I strongly advise you to use a lot of short passes guys. It's a middle play formation, you need to count on a lot of passes in order to create scoring opportunities. Also. The one to pass works like a charm, so make sure to take full advantage of this incredible combo. Last but not least, the protect the ball technique is maybe the most important weapon you need to use in the final third of the pitch while playing with the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. If you don't use the pace control button to protect the ball in the final third of the pitch, you will struggle to create scoring chances and keep possession of the ball. So guys, this is gonna be the end of the day's formation review, if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button below for more incredible formation reviews coming up on the channel over the weekend. As always, if you have any questions, you are welcome to leave a comment down below, also don't forget to follow me on Twitter, it's in the description, make sure to stay updated on the latest FIFA 18 news and I will catch you guys later, bye bye!